Gunnar Henderson put the league on notice in 2023 by assembling one of the best rookie seasons in Orioles franchise history. Gunnar put up offensive numbers in Kalerpkin Jr. and Eddie Murray territory. Henderson's number one prospect tag has looked like an accurate assessment of his phenom level talent. He is also a first class defender, displaying incredible range, glove work, and arm strength. At just 21 years old, Henderson demonstrated MVP potential, ranking among the best players in the American League. Gunner was bestowed with several honors after his 2023 season, one of which broke a 34-year drought for Orioles rookies. As always, if you enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at camp23 underscore YT and hit the bell to enable all notifications so you don't miss any future Camp 23 videos. In 2018, the Orioles suffered through a franchise-worst 115 losses. However, this dismal season allowed Baltimore to secure the first pick of the top two rounds during the 2019 MLB Draft. With the number one selection, the O's took Adley Rutschman, and in the second round, they chose Gunnar Henderson 42nd overall from John T. Morgan Academy in Selma, Alabama. Interestingly, the legendary Baltimore shortstop Cal Ripken Jr. was also drafted in the second round back in 1978. Rutschman was soon heralded as the number one prospect in the O's farm system, while Henderson did not receive that distinction until after Adley graduated from the prospect class following 2022. Minus the pandemic year in 2020, it took Gunner just three seasons to ascend every minor league level. In 2022, Henderson posted a 297 average, 19 homers, 76 RBIs, and 22 stolen bases between AA and AAA, earning him a promotion to the big league squad. On August 31st, as a 21-year-old, he made his MLB debut against the Cleveland Guardians. It was an unforgettable game, as Henderson went 2 for 4 and crushed a home run for his first hit. Despite Gunner's best effort to keep his batting helmet on, it proved unnecessary for the home run trot. I yeah. bouncer to Henderson. Good pick. He got one. He got two. Machine to Henderson. Another terrific play. It's Gunner's day already. 3-1 right side. That's a base hit. One runs in. Around third, Santander. He's in. Everybody's safe, and the Orioles have a 3-2 lead. Team. Henderson blasts off way back into center field. Oh, goodness gracious. Gunner Henderson, a titanic blast to dead center field. Henderson finished 2022 with a 259 average, four homers, 18 RBIs, and a 126 OPS plus in a 34 game sample. This is what you've been waiting for, folks. This is Gunner Henderson. Yes, he did. Grand slam, Gunner. You will never. That ball belted, caught at third by Henderson to first. He got him. Little ground ball to third. Gunnar Henderson went to the glove, and Gunnar Henderson makes another brilliant play at third. Yeah, hitting one to the moon. Wow, they won't even move. A majestic blast. Gunnar entered the 2023 season as the consensus number one overall prospect and made the opening day roster for the first time. From day one, Henderson was proficient defensively at both shortstop and third base, but at the plate, he got off to a slow start. On May 21st, Gunner sported a measly 192 batting average. Henderson was able to turn his season around by becoming more aggressive at the plate and making subtle mechanical adjustments. Ryan Fuller, Baltimore's co-hitting coach, assisted in tweaking Gunner's batting stance. His front shoulder became more level with his back shoulder, allowing him to connect well on pitches thrown at different speeds and locations. In June, Gunner went on a tear. With a 320 average, 6 homers, 16 RBIs, and a 994 OPS in 20 games, he was named Rookie of the Month. He was also recognized as Player of the Week for his outstanding play from June 7th to June 11th. In five games, he recorded a 526 average, 10 hits, three home runs, six RBIs, and two stolen bases. On June 11th, he walloped a 462-foot blast, the longest ever to land on Utah Street during a regular season game. 
Another dinger on June 13th capped a string of three consecutive games with the big fly. According to Baseball Savant, Henderson's ranking in the 91st percentile for average exit velocity and the 95th percentile for hard hit percentage further illustrate his knack for barreling up the baseball. On July 6th, in a 14-1 route of the Yankees, Henderson tallied four hits, including two homers, and drove in five runs. This marked Gunner's first game with either four hits or multiple home runs. Henderson put together an 11-game hitting streak from August 14th to August 26th. During this span, he batted 383, hit three homers, and drove in 13 runs. August 20th was his most notable performance, going 4 for 5 with two doubles, a triple, and a homer in Baltimore's 12 to 1 blowout against the Athletics. Gunner fell just a single shy of the cycle after cruising into second with a double instead of stopping at first base, much to his teammates' surprise. While Henderson was a major difference maker in the batter's box, his contributions also included stellar glove work at both shortstop and third base. The stat that best showcases his wizardry is defensive runs saved. Abbreviated DRS, it attempts to measure how many runs a defender saved by quantifying a player's entire defensive performance. It takes into account errors, range, outfield arm, and double playability. Gunner's 13 DRS between shortstop and third base led all Orioles players. In just 584 and two-thirds innings, his 10 DRS ranked sixth among all MLB shortstops. To put that into perspective, first place Dansby Swanson played more than double the number of innings and recorded 18 DRS. The main attraction, however, was Henderson's cannon for an arm. In 2023, his arm strength ranked in the 84th percentile. The best example of this actually came in 2024, when he threw out Brandon Drury of the Angels from the outfield grass. While he stole just 10 bases in 2023, Gunner was also exceptional on the base paths, ranking in the 100th percentile for base running run value. Part of this can be attributed to his baseball IQ, but the more obvious component is his sprint speed, which ranked in the 86th percentile. In 150 games, Henderson's campaign consisted of a 255 average, 28 home runs, 82 RBIs, 9 triples, and a 125 OPS+. His 6.2 war was 7th best among all MLB position players. Gunner led all first-year players in war, home runs, and extra base hits. He became the third Orioles rookie with 25-plus doubles and 25-plus homers, joining Cal Ripken Jr. and Eddie Murray. Gunner was the first O's rookie and the 20th in MLB history to record a season with at least 20 doubles, 5 triples, 20 homers, and 10 steals. The Orioles won 101 games in 2023, tied for the fourth most wins in team history. Baltimore narrowly claimed the AL East division and faced the Texas Rangers in the first round of the playoffs. Despite not being swept in any series during the regular season, the O's lost three straight games in the ALDS. While the year ended on a heartbreaking note, Gunner was a highlight, batting 500 with three runs scored, a homer, and two RBIs in 12 at-bats. After the season, Henderson was unanimously selected as the American League Rookie of the Year. It was the first time an Orioles player was presented with this honor since pitcher Greg Olson in 1989, and the first Baltimore position player since Cal Ripken Jr. in 1982. Additionally, Gunner received an 8th place finish in AL MVP voting and won a Silver Slugger as a utility player, becoming the first O's rookie to receive this award. In 2024, the Orioles are expected to contend for the AL East crown again in the most competitive division in all of baseball. Gunnar Henderson and Adley Rutschman are projected to be two of the pivotal players for Baltimore to pursue their first World Series title since 1983. In the early stages of 2024, Gunner has been the team's everyday shortstop. O's manager Brandon Hyde has mainly slotted Henderson into the leadoff spot. He figures to occupy both roles for the foreseeable future. In just his second game of the regular season, Gunner recorded three hits, falling just a double short of completing the cycle. He scored two runs and drove in three to lead the O's to a 13-4 win over the Angels. If Gunner can continue to build on his superb rookie season, there is no doubt that he can take home an MVP award.
Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.